France 24's Allison Sargent has been at the National Rally's campaign headquarters in Le Pen's home district of Enan Beaumont in northern France. Here's Allison. It's been an incredibly celebratory evening here in Enan Beaumont. Marine Le Pen uh, stuck around for a long time after the results were announced, uh, mingling with supporters and journalists, really basking in these results. Uh, the party is set to win more seats than ever before in their history, way above the predictions, uh, way above the record 35 seats that they'd gotten back in 1986 under a proportional voting system. This time, not only will they have a parliamentary group uh, giving them more funding and more speaking time, but they're also going going to be well, far above that 60-seat benchmark, uh, allowing them to challenge laws at the Constitutional Council. Supporters and party members themselves were even surprised by these results. Uh, the party hasn't traditionally fared very well in legislative elections due to that majority-takes-all system. Uh, when I asked supporters why they think they did so well this time, uh, many of them credited the party's boots-on-the-ground campaigning. They also said that in the end, it shows that some people are more anti-Macron or anti-Mélenchon in the end than they are anti-Marine Le Pen. Uh, they also think that it means that maybe people are realizing that the party is not on the far right, at least not in the eyes of its supporters. Now, that said, Marine Le Pen has said that her first act at the National Assembly will be to propose a law to fight against so-called Islamism.